Princess Catherine of Wales, often referred to as the fashionable queen of the United Kingdom, made a remarkable appearance at a banquet, showcasing a dazzling tiara that signifies her return to the spotlight after a prolonged hiatus due to health challenges. Her absence had created a notable gap that both royal enthusiasts and fashion aficionados were keenly anticipating. In an exciting announcement from Kensington Palace, the princess is preparing for her annual Christmas carol concert at Westminster Abbey, marking an important step in her gradual return to royal duties after her recent battle with cancer. Many expressed their delight at witnessing her radiant presence at royal events once more, eagerly looking forward to the beautiful outfits she would wear upon her return. One of the most highly anticipated moments will be when she dons the exquisite tiara and priceless jewels inherited from Princess Diana and Queen Elizabeth II. Traditionally, the Prince and Princess of Wales play vital roles during state visits. For instance, last year they welcomed the President of South Korea and his wife. Catherine continued her tradition of dressing in the colors of the country she was visiting or hosting, wearing a hat by Jan Taylor and a bespoke red wool cape by Catherine Walker and company. The cape's bow detail is reminiscent of a dress by the same designer she wore underneath, which was a re-wear from her Christmas carol concert two years prior. To nod to the blue on Korea's flag, she wore sapphire and diamond drop earrings that once belonged to her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. That enchanted evening, she also wore one of the rarest tiaras in the British royal family's collection, a piece that has long represented elegance, grace, and timeless beauty. In fact, Catherine has been attending formal events so frequently in recent months that she even recreated a look from the royal wedding in Jordan last June, pairing the tiara with a pink Jenny Packham gown and the gravel chandelier earrings that previously belonged to the late queen. The sash she wore reflected her status as a Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order, with each piece not only rich in royal history but also holding deep sentimental value. Seeing Catherine adorned with this cherished tiara emphasizes her role as a connector between royal history and the present, honoring Diana while carving out her own legacy. At a diplomatic reception at the royal residence, she wore an elegant red Jenny Packham gown, which captivated the crowd with its vibrant hue and embroidered sequin details, complemented by a subtle train. Her accessories were equally regal, including a blue sash and badges representing the Royal Victorian Order and the Royal Family Order. The highlight was undoubtedly the princess's sparkling tiara, which she has been seen wearing recently. Catherine completed her look with diamond earrings that once belonged to the late Queen Elizabeth. Although she doesn't frequently wear a tiara, this marked the second time in just two weeks that the Princess of Wales has graced events with one. Earlier this week, the princess met with her royal aides and representatives from the Royal Foundation to discuss plans for the festive concert. This will be the fourth year she has hosted the Together at Christmas concert, which highlights local charities and features a star-studded lineup. Following her completion of preventative chemotherapy in early September, the mother of three is excited about returning to public life. Royal insiders are thrilled to report that Catherine is feeling well enough to resume light responsibilities, and the concert is expected to showcase personal touches including films emphasizing the significance of early childhood development and contributions from celebrities. As positive changes occur during her cancer treatment, royal fans are eagerly looking forward to her impressive return at upcoming important events.